morning everybody it is Sunday and uh, today this morning we're gonna go down to Daikoku Futo a uh, co-worker of mine has some family in town and he asked me if I could take them down there uh, I said of course I will never uh, not take an opportunity to go da to Daikoku so we're gonna go down there Sunday mornings are usually pretty good to see some you know supercars Ferraris Lambos stuff like that um, if you go during the week or at night, you're more a lot more prone to seeing um, the the Japanese heroes, as it were, Supra Skylines, um, Fair Ladies, so uh, 300ZXs, you know, Club Midnights, things like that. Sunday mornings is usually more supercar, hypercar, um, stuff like that. Last time I was down there, I saw the uh, the most hated Zonda of all times. So it was a gorgeous car. Anyhow, we're gonna go do that and I'll check in with you here in a little bit. Alright, so we made it to Dakoku and immediately there's a whole rash of super sweet cars. So let's check this uh, Ferrari for example. And you got just a whole bunch of FDs over there and we're just gonna walk around and see what we can find. Got a whole bunch of FDs rolling up. Oh, nice sport. GT86 snuck in the middle. So as you can see, just another typical Sunday morning here at Daikoku. There was probably, what, eight or nine FDs and FC. The FC was super quiet, which was nice. And we got a couple, I think those are Tommy Kairos, the ZZ2A, ZZ something. Somebody will tell me in chat. Um, a whole bunch of Porsches, so we're gonna check everything out. It's not a super big turnout today, but it's it's pretty good. So these are in fact Tommy Kairos, and just checking these out, this is crazy. How this is built? It's got double wishbone front and back. Look look how low the master cylinder sits, right down there. That is nuts. And then this right here is how the hood closes. So this is what it bolts into with this so this comes down and hits that and it looks like it's a you know like the brakes are small and all this stuff but it's not a very big car so it doesn't have to be big and then if you look over here this one actually is more set up like a race car here's the fuel cell which is crazy and then look at this crazy shifter mechanism with the carbon fiber rod that is gnarly there. engine these are super, super cool. Super cool. So we came back to the Tommy Kyra and he now has his hood, engine cover off. And yeah, you can just see, it's a lot of uh, similarities to how airplanes are built actually with the, the sheet metal work, but it's got quad carbs, Cahin motorcycle carburetors. It's actually distributor driven as well. but super cool, big old oil cooler. And like a little attention to detail, like these separators, so the, the AN lines don't rub on each other, which is just nice to see. It's a nicely built car. So here we got a, a old Thunderbird, I think, and then we got a McLaren race car with the, uh, oh, look at the Z that's driving by, like it's nobody's business. Uh, old McLaren race car with a Chevy small block in it, which is nice. And at first I was like, this is a kit car, but it's uh, it's pretty well put together. So it might just be a race car that somebody bought with a broken engine and they put the Chevy small block in it. And then this, which I'm not sure what it is. At first glance, I want to say it's a VW Beetle kit car because it's got a boxer engine way in the back, transaxle style. 
but I'm not sure what it is. There's not any discerning markings on it. So, I'm unsure, but it looks super cool. It might also be a Porsche 914 kit car. And here is why Japan is fantastic. An NSX and then an H1 Hummer, just like that, with these super cool custom Harley bikes. Trikes, trike conversions, I suppose. But seeing a Hummer here in Japan, it's kind of rare. Our NSX is just driving away up there. I wasn't able to catch it, unfortunately. And we got an R8 on super low, super nice, very wide wheels. I think they're rotiforms. This looks super. 32525 is the rear tire size. I can see that. It's the V10 model, too. The guy's in there, so I don't want to get too crazy about it, but it's nice. And we got a Renault Megane Nurburgring edition with factory OZ racing wheels, carbon fiber roof. These are super cool. Again, the person's in there, so I don't want to go too crazy. Got some German love here, the 135. Now we got the sweet R Magic FC. This thing is in super nice shape. Like caged, interior looks good. This is nice. This might be one of the nicest FCs I've seen in a very long time. And we got a bunch of Porsches that rolled up a little while ago. No one of them being a GT3 RS. And then this just rolled up, which I'm not sure. It's a Ferrari and there's nothing funky going on with the lens. It is doing that flip-flop stuff. It looks cool. I'm not exactly sure what type of Ferrari it is. But it's uh it's super nice. So here is uh the new Fiat 124 Abarth, which is uh the MX5 Roadster Miata, depending on where you are. These are hella nice. But then this is the same thing with a Stingray Corvette body kit. Now generally I really don't like um, those retro style body kits, but they actually did a really cool job on this. This is neat. It works, the color is nice. I get it. This is reliable and starts and is nice i'm not hating on old corvettes because i totally like the c3 stingrays but you know for creature comforts this is probably hard to beat this is nice found this little k truck look at these added side skirts for all that low sweet little steel wheels this thing is cool that thunder flared little minivan and then the decotura truck thing is beast check this out transformer yo a couple of uh, s30z's which are just amazing cars this one has the aero light covers one of my all-time favorites I think any car guy likes the 240z ooh triple dual Webers This is nice. Yeah, you see those ITVs on both of them? The other one is too. This one is super clean. Watanabe wheels. Just timeless lines. Amazing. We're looking into the white uh, S30Z, 240Z right now, and it's got the super old OG low rise bride buckets in it. So cool. So here we got another 240Z, S30Z chassis code. And this guy has the pretty cool Geno's aero kit. Which again is super neat. It's the stuff you just see randomly. Big old Watanabe wheels. All right, for anybody who knows me, this is one of my all time favorite cars. And this is an actual, real Lotus Super 7. Which these are just so cool. You can buy these as kit cars and build them. And I will definitely want to do that at some point. But this thing, real. Look at this. Look at this tiny steering wheel. As a reference, here's my hand. That is crazy. This is amazing. I love it. And then we got a couple of Mercedes here. Here's a 190E, non-Cosworth. But still super cool. It's got a four cylinder in it, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, can't tell with all the gigantic air filter happening, but then this is an S something. S500? S400 maybe? I'm not sure. It's debadged, of course. But super cool. And then here's an NSX with Acura badging. Oh, he's gonna back up right here. So I'm here with Brian and uh, we had an awesome day at Daikoku Futo, we went to Upgrad GT and uh, it's his first time in Japan, he's only been here for about four days? Yeah. Four days. So what do you think so far of Japan? It's been awesome. What about the car scene? Because I mean you've had a very limited experience in the car scene here in Japan. I, I will say I've seen probably... I, I've seen so many cars I've never seen in my life before. <laughs> it was pretty, like today pretty we saw awesome. those Tommy Kairos, which I've never seen before either. Yeah, and like that was pretty sweet because like I, yeah. I know what they are, and I never got to see one. I never thought I would get to see one. So that, then we saw those, pretty... those Ferraris. Oh, dude! Like, NSX is that whole group of RX sevens. Oh, dude! I, I have I took the one picture like. 10 RX-7s in a row, all FDs, one FC mixed in there, yeah, but it yeah, was yeah. pretty sweet. <laughs> That's amazing. So, just to reiterate, if you get to Japan, make sure you get you a friend that can take you down to Daikoku, maybe Up Garage. We went to Up Garage, although we didn't buy anything and there's no footage of that. He's never been to a place like that. It's a second, it's a thrift store for car parts. It's awesome. Nothing like that. And uh, there's a video on my channel, so obviously check that out. I'll link something there, maybe, I'll try. But uh, yeah, the, the car scene in Japan is unique. It's just nothing like it exists. Anyway, we're gonna get back to some beer and uh, more car talk and we'll see you guys next time.